पतंजलि चवन प्रास प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन तीन में देवे सचनो अब वक्त है पुरुषों के सतावन किलोग्राम पर कुश्ती का वीर मराठास की ओर से आ रहे हैं भारतीय मूल के श्रवण तोमर और एनसीआर पंजाब रॉयल्स की ओर से आ रहे हैं भारतीय मूल के उत्कर्ष काले An all Indian affair. This the men's 57 kg category. Shravan Tomar, the 20-year-old, got a great run in PWL three. He's lost all three bouts that he's fought in in the league stage, and he now goes up against Utkarsh Kale, who has one win and three losses. Does the 23-year-old? But these two have had an experience of facing off against each other in the national championships as well. Shin Hye Jung is going to be the referee for this contest. Utkarsh Kale, remember, is the grappler in the black tunic, while in the yellow, it's Shravan Toma. Shravan, silver at those national championships in 2017, where gold was won by Utkarsh Kale. So we've had a fair exchange. Have these two in the past? And the crowd still looking on, very animatedly. But remember, this uh, bout and the two to follow after this are of academic interest alone, because NCR Punjab Royals have already made their way through to the finals. Have taken an unassailable 5-1 lead in this semi-final in the best of nine contest. Even if uh, Veer Marathas win the uh, remaining bouts of the night, they won't make it to the final, which will be contested on the 26th of January in a couple of days' time. Over a minute gone in the contest, no points scored just yet. I either grappler, Shravan. Gold of the Junior Asian Championships for him. He's a young wrestler who's come through the ranks now. First big senior level competition for him at the international stage. With Karsh Kale, the bronze at the Commonwealth Championships 2016 for him. Slightly more experienced. Over a minute and a half gone, and we will have passivity kick in soon enough. Well, the camp is very ecstatic for the NCR Punjab Royals, and why not? They know they're through to the finals, are the defending champions. Remember, last year it was the uh, Punjab team who'd made the finals, won the finals as well, beating the Haryana Hammers. And they are going to be in another final this year. Hashtag PWL3, hashtag Kale Folladi. You can join our conversation on Twitter and share your thoughts and views about what you're witnessing in Pro Wrestling League Season 3. A point has been signaled to the red corner. It's going to go Shravan's way. So Shravan Tomar being given one point and that's a point given because passivity was shown by Utkarsh Kale. So 1-0 in favour of Shravan. And now a single leg hold for Utkarsh, can he convert it to a takedown? Strong defense by Shravan. Well, this is turning out to be interesting. The dying moments of round one. Both grapplers looking to score now. The passivity point awarded against Utkarsh Kali, just galvanizing him into a slightly more aggressive approach. Well, that should be the end of round one. Three minutes come to an end. And it's just that one point awarded for passivity against Utkarsh Kale to Shravan Tomar. Utkarsh Kale in the black tunic is trailing by a point to Shravan Tomar of the Veer Marathas. The team is already celebrating for the NCR Punjab Royals. But yeah, Utkarsh Kale. Would like to add a personal celebration to it as well. He's got a single leg hold. 
against uh, Shravan Tomar. Can he convert this to a point? Now, doggedly holding on is uh, Shravan Tomar denying Utkarsh a chance to score on that occasion. No point conceded there, so Bad strong pressure. defense there Action. by Shravan. Center. Center. Just get a feeling he's looking the more muscular. Shravan Tomar now gets a single leg hold against Utkarsh. Can he convert this to a takedown? He's got the second leg as well. Now it's just a matter of time before he can roll his opponent over. Yes, a couple of rollovers. Three, four. The score is ticking over 9-0 with the takedown and three flip overs. So eight points in all. And Utkarsh okay. Kale in a spot of bother here. He's trying to save that left leg, but the moment he got a grip on that, it was two points for a takedown. And then those three flip overs, each one resulting in two points. So eight in all. And now the road. To redemption just looks a whole lot longer and tougher for Utkarsh Kale. No fingers. Heavy scoring contest this as far as uh, Shravan Tomar is concerned. He's pulled out all the stops to try and win this one against Utkarsh Kale. I also feel there's a score to settle here. These two had faced off against each other during the league stage as well. And that's when Utkarsh Kale had prevailed, winning his bout by a narrow margin, 5-4. I'm sure Shravan's uh, kept that in mind, saying, hang on, I will return the favour when the time is ripe. Time's ripe tonight in the semi-final, albeit this win won't count too much by way of changing his team's fortunes. Because the Veer Marathas are already out of the final. Looking Even on. if uh, Shravan wins this bout, which he most likely will, and the Veer Marathas win the remaining two bouts of the night, they still won't be able to make it Looking to the finals. On. As the defending champions have already Ooh, booked a berth on. there with a 5-1 lead overall tonight. Ujadhanda, one of the grapplers who made that possible. With a fantastic win yes. by fall over, over Marwa Amri. No fingers. Under 15 seconds left in the contest now. No fingers. Yes, and the smiles won't dim despite the fact that Utkarsh Kale will lose this bout for the NCR Punjab Royals. It doesn't matter. There goes the final whistle. So Shravan Tomar redeems himself against Utkarsh Kale, beats him in the semi-final and beats him comprehensively, 9-0, the margin of victory for uh, Shravan.